We are back once again in league action for Dagnum as we host Oakside FC for the first time this season. Let's go for the starting lineup. Rob back in goal after a long injury absence. Back four of Ankuba, Yusuf, Chris, and Marcus. David, George in the middle, Tasha and Nadia out wide with a front two of Kane and Shaq. Kane making his first team debut this season. And we are underway. Dagnum in the home kit of the Clara and Navy with the yellow trim. Oakside in the navy blue and the white trim. As I say, first time the two sides have met each other this season. Oakside apply an early bit of pressure. Dagnum not quite switching on. Switch around ends as well. Wind really strong in the first half. Made it a nightmare to play out from the back. And definitely played a part in this free kick here. As we can see, Oakside take a strike. And it's gone in at the front post. Early goal. Sees Dagnum 1-0 down. But just have a look at this replay here. You can see the Oakside player spins off of Yusuf, goes round the inside of Rob the goalkeeper, pushes against him, clearly obstructs the keeper from getting across and making a save. Not only should that have been offside when the ball was struck, should also have been a foul directly on the keeper obstructing him from making a save. No idea how the referee has not seen that. Really frustrating to go in. Early 1-0 down. Decision's completely gone against us. Things like that so early in the game can turn the tide as well. Dagnum took a while to get back on track, but did start playing some nice football as you can see here. Great little feet right there from Vancouver. Knocks the ball forward. Oof, Marcus just a little bit late there. Catches the outside winger. Free kick. Oh, we're back in action up the other end. And Cooper Lines was up. Over the bar, the wind again. You can see just holding it up, starting to bring it down. And a game of many free kicks. Another one here for Oakside. Launch a big ball forward. George with a good first head. Wins a second as well. David working away. Industrious graft as always in the middle. Ambitious strike. Flashes over the bar there from the Oakside player. Wind really catching behind it though. And it continues to drive forward. But David once again. Pure athlete in the middle. Quick, he's strong. Wins the ball back nicely. And Kuba showing again some good feet. Composure on the ball. Holds him off. Back into David. Oof. Testing the touch of George there. Forcey ping straight off him. Oakside player takes a strike. Comfortable save by Rob. Good to see him back between the sticks as well. I say young lad. Suffered a really nasty broken wrist injury. Dagnum on the turn here. David, fantastic slide ball. Kane's running through, holding him off. Rounds the keeper. Oh, just wide of the post. Got to finish that. And he knows it, and that's a massive, massive chance for Dagnum. Sora holding that Oakside defence there. You say Kane making his first team debut this season. Absolutely on fire for the reserve team. 17 goals in the first half of the season. Got his chance stepped up. And it is half time. We see Dagnum going in 1 0 down to a very, very contentious free kick. Frustrating. Dagnum know they're in the game. Have to start the second half better. And they really did. First 20 minutes of the second half. Total domination, pretty much. Played some nice football straight from the kickoff here again. Popping it around much better. Ball nicely played out wide. Slack touch there. Should have cut inside, but goes out wide. Georgie whips the ball in. Again, wind just drags it. The wrong side of the post. Oakside did have some really nice patterns of play throughout the game. We'll give him full credit for that. Moved the ball nicely. Dagnum trying to force a mistake. You see here, George gets onto the ball. He ah, just holds up. That little pop. Another yard or so forward. He's managed to catch that on the volley nicely. Just held up, unfortunately. He gets a big slice from the Oakside defender. Centre back doesn't want it. Shaq's onto it. Falls to Kane. Defender does well to clear it. Pinball out though. George again looks to cross the ball. Ooh, there's a shot for handball there, but I think the defender's done enough. Got his body in the way. Comes off his hip. And as Dagnum's turn to defend, Chris at the back reads it well, flicks it forward. Shaq sees the pass. Kane stands a great turn as well. A Dagnum Peter crouch there. Switches it across. Oh, it's flashed past the post. So unlucky. Great combination play by the two forwards there. Shaq does well to win the first ball. Lays it off the 
Kane, great turn as well. Chris here reads it nicely. Sees us. What a scoop as well. Again, the horrible little bounce right towards it. Almost going to fall in the path of Kane. Great vision, though. Good technique as well. Just scoop it over the defence. Shaq with the pressure on. Keeps chasing. Can't quite get the, the luck there. The ball's not quite falling in the right place if Dagens Day. Ooh. Ooh. Magnet, so sweet. Always got to appreciate a good little Magnuts there. Number 12. <laughs> He's not having any more. He's walking away. Good little drop of the shoulder there by Yusuf as well. Oakside instantly on the reply. Ball gets knocked over top. Yusuf trying to hold him off. Stumbles and falls. Chris and Marcus on the line. Oh, over we go. Done well to get back in position there. Oakside striker's got to be doing better than that. Blazes it over the bar. Might have to invoice him for that ball. God knows where that's gone. Good play here. David again just trying to find that gap. In a game of very few chances. Very few clear-cut chances at least. It's just that extra yard or so. Again, we see. Scrappy. Oof. Dives in there as well. Ball gets knocked in. Do not like the way the number 10 followed up. But all there. That was a second time throughout the game. Left the late one on the keeper. Referee. Unfortunately, did not see either. Definitely studs up there. We don't like to see that in football. Let's not hope that's going to be the same in a reverse fixture. Ball gets knocked over top. Yusuf's caught on the wrong side as well, though. Oaks are player burning through. Yusuf makes a rash challenge. It's a penalty. Extremely frustrating. Felt he got a toe to the ball. Oaks had to dispatch it calmly as well. Bottom corner. No real chance for the keeper there. Really frustrating. Dagenham have not been at their best today by any means, and we all know it. But 2 0 Dan to a contentious free kick, and a penalty is extremely frustrating. Down to 10 men as well. Great challenge here, though, by Chris at the back again. And Cooper, nice feet. Switches the play. Nothing resulting from that ball forward, though. Oakside just seem to find a way to cancel Dagnam out. Yes, Alan. Alan's on yes, here at left back now as well, driving forward. Have one. The outside of the boot he does. <laughs> Dealt with calmly again by Oakside. But fall into Tash in the middle. There's a chance here. Early strike. Wide of the target. Again, as I say, a game of many, many half chances. It's Oakside's turn to drive forward this time. Adding an unfamiliar position of right back there. Comfortable save by Rob. Composure gets his body behind the ball. Great vision as well to throw. Does really well to spot Lou out on a wing. Drives forward down the line now. A little step over. Cuts inside. Great knock as well. David again full of energy. Bursting forward. Skips past one, two, three. Eventually gets dragged down. Great player. Every single week we say it. 10, 11k covered per game. See it on the player data GPS vests. Man's an athlete. Dagnum playing out from the back here again. Balls across to Yusuf. Good little drop of the shoulder once again. Out wide to Allen. Oh, he's been clipped there by number eight. The ref's not giving a free kick and somehow giving a throw as well. Lino is frantically waving. Refs absolutely ignored them. Balls flashed across. My word, if that goes in, what a shambles that would have been. And has been clipped, swept off his feet. Ball's gone off. If it's not a free kick, then it's clearly a throw for Dagnum. Nothing doing in that final corner as well. And that is full time. An extremely frustrating result. Dagnum not at their best at all today. But conceding from two set pieces, a free kick and a penalty. Nothing scored from open play. Now we need to step up, dust ourselves down and go again next week.